Now it's time to practice some polynomial factoring. Let's factor fully. The first thing to do when factoring is to always pull out the GCF. We see a 10x squared that we can pull out here. When we multiply by 3, x minus 2. When you feed a dog, feed a cat, we get the original terms. So we factored successfully. The second question here is factoring by difference of squares. So t plus 3, t minus 3, if you FOIL this out, indeed will be correct. Now this plus sign is interesting. It cannot be factored. Do not make the mistake thinking that this is a difference of squares. It's not. Number four. Let's pull out the GCF. But make sure that you factor fully all the way to the end. We use difference of squares. And now we have some trinomial factoring. We set up our brackets x times x is x squared. Now the question is what times what is 24 but adds to be 2? We could try 1 and 24, that's quite far off. 2 and 12, 3 times 8. We can try 4 times 6. And the challenge is to find two numbers that multiply to be 24-ish but add to be 2-ish. And we might have it here. Let's try 4 and 6. We want a positive result, so we're going to put the plus sign in front of the bigger number, but we want them to multiply to be negative, so let's try a negative here. So when we use FOIL, first, outside, inside, last, the outside is 6x, the inside is minus 4x, and indeed we get positive 2x, so this is correct. And now this one looks a bit more painful, but let's try. So we're trying to find two numbers that multiply to be 96, yet add to be 4. It's a quite a tedious process, but if you take 96 and you divide it by 2, you get 2 times 48 is 96. And you can keep on trying to divide out numbers in which there's a nice, clean answer. And here are some potential candidates. Now the goal is to find numbers that are diff different by simply 4 and we might have it here. So let's give this a try. Let's try 8 and 12. 8 times 12 is 96, and the goal is to make positive 4, so let's put the plus sign here and a minus sign here, and we verify indeed the sum is positive 4, and the product is negative 96, so we found it. By the way, if you're struggling to come up with these numbers, let me just try one with you. Does 3 fit into 96? Without a calculator, you might try this. 96 divided by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. You subtract, and you drop down the 6. 3 times 2 is 6, and there's no remainder. So indeed, 96 is equals to 3 times 32, which we have here. So long division might help you. Also, if your human brain tells you that these numbers are too far apart, you may want to try skipping ahead, which may save you some time. If you need some more practice on factoring, you might want to Google factoring by pulling out the GCF worksheet, factoring by difference of squares, or trinomial factoring where the coefficient of a is 1. The coefficient a, the a value here is the number in front of x, happens to be 1.